You can't and you don't remember that you were a spirit at one time connected to God. You don't remember wanting to come here to earth. You don't remember the multitude of other spirits that wanted to come here also. You don't remember that they weren't selected, but you were. You were selected to come to earth by God himself. You don't remember being chosen by God. You don't remember the joy that you felt when he chose you to come here to earth. You don't remember how special that you felt. You don't remember why he chose you to come here. You don't remember him, God Almighty, summoning you to come and sit and talk with him about your purpose for being chosen to be here at this particular time in his story. You don't remember the conversation that you had with God Almighty. You don't remember the adventures that he told you that you would have to go through. You don't remember the descriptions of the tests and the trials that you might have to go through here on earth. You don't remember weighing the pros and the cons. You don't remember him telling you that when you do graduate, your name will be written in the book of life as his son or his daughter. You don't remember being excited to be chosen to be a son or a daughter of God. You don't remember the excitement. You don't remember saying, yes, I agree, and I will do it. You don't remember him, the Most High God, the creator of the universe, your father, telling you that after you graduate from this boot camp training ground called Earth, that you would be one of his ambassadors for the universe. You don't remember God telling you that you will be one of his representatives, one of his priests, one of his kings, one of his rulers that would sit with him in heaven. You don't remember agreeing to this, but you did. Keep pressing into the Lord and keep trying. You're almost there. This is a worthwhile journey. There are millions of other spirits still begging the Lord to come to earth to do what you are doing right now. When you pray, pray with your heart, pray with your body, pray with your mind, pray slowly and choose your words choose your use your own words when you pray prayer is a form of worship you can pray all day long and you don't have to be on your knees and you don't even have to speak out loud because god hears every single word none of them are ignored. There's a prayer in the description area below, a prayer of redemption. It starts off with Father. It says, Father, it, in Jesus' name, thank you for dying on the cross for me. I repent. Thank you. Come into my heart and come into my life. Make me your child. Amen. Feel free to share that prayer and share this video.
give a thumbs up for the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Leave a comment and even your prayer request in the description area below. I'll pray a little of Psalms 91. Father, in Jesus' name, I want to dwell, I want to be in the secret place with you at all times, Lord. Most High God, Father, thank you for choosing me to be here, to become a son of yours, to share your DNA. You are my dad. Lord, Father, I know that I'm underneath your shadow at all times, sir. I know that you're always covering me and protecting me, Lord God Almighty. You are my refuge. I can talk to you and then call on you at any time. You are a fortress that surrounds me and covers me, Lord. I am safe with you at all times, whether I feel like it or not. You are always there. You are my God, and I do trust you and God help me to trust you more every day. More and more and more is what I want to trust you. I do trust you, but I need to trust you more, Lord. And I want to trust you more, Lord. Father, I thank you for delivering me from the devil and his and the demons, and the principalities, and the power of spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers of the darkness, Lord, watchers, all of the enemy. Thank you for delivering me and my family, Father, and keeping me, Lord, safe from them and from, from anything, that any snare that they would have set for me, any trap that they would have set for me, Lord. Cover me, Father, at all times. Cover me like I'm your little eagle, eaglet, and you are the chief eagle covering me and protecting me. Father, I thank you for being my shield. Father, I refuse to be afraid of anything, Lord, because you are protecting me at all times. I won't be afraid at night and I won't be afraid at during today and help me to remember that I don't have to be afraid, Lord, and that I can rest from fear at any times and I can go into peace from fear anytime, day or night. And remind me to talk to you, Father, and to rebuke every fearful spirit and bind it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, most of all, let me use Psalms 91 verse 7 and make and pray and bind a thousand and let them all fall at my side every time I say this prayer. And let 10,000 fall at my right hand side in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All unclean spirits in Jesus name. So that they will not come near me ever. And Father let me see this happen with my own eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord I honor you. I praise you and I glorify you forever and ever and ever. Amen. Psalms 91 verses 1 through 7.